But anyway, let's move on. And speaking of speaking of dummies, <laughs> you a dummy, bitch. Let's talk about Bow Wow, who always has a knack of sticking his damn foot in his mouth when he talks. So, you know, um, people took the social media to drag him over comments that he said about Diddy to about how he missed them Diddy parties. So Bow Wow, as you know, has a habit of sticking his foot in his mouth, but in the latest comments, you know, couldn't have come at a worse time. The 37-year-old rapper recently claimed that he missed Diddy's parties and the internet did not agree with what he was saying. Given the controversial mogul's recent arrest and year-long legal ordeals related to alleged R-word, S-trafficking, and more. So, um, here's the, cl- here's the clip because of Roxy Diaz, who I haven't heard that name in eons. <laughs> Remember when she used to be on 106 in part with, um, little man. And then I saw this video with child. I need to know what his age was because I'm like, is this inappropriate? Cause look, there was a clip in the Roxy Diaz interview that he did in the opening, literally seconds in showed a clip of him making out with Tyra Banks. On 106 in part, and I'm like, was she was he of age for her to be doing that on that ripoff of TRL that they had over there at BET? Because <laughs> that's basically what 106 in part was. Child, I remember back in the day when he used to be AJ and free, but yeah, so um, we have the clip and we'll play the clip and then we'll come back. Please, don't. like for me thinking on it, bro, supposed to be on a 250. 250- Foot yacht with his wife, leg up, chilling. This how you ride it out. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of us probably never thought that we would see this. But for me, it's like it's just it's just unreal. Like it's, it seems unreal at times. I know me and Jermaine we spoke about it. And I'm just like I just can't. I can't. I come. I couldn't. I would never thought that it would. We would see him in this position ever. Even with all the rumors that I've always circulated. Never. Just never thought I'd see it like this. Like, nah. Nah. He's like the gatekeeper to the game. To the point to where what what weekend just passed? Like BT award weekend it didn't like the past two, they just didn't feel right. Because there was no motion, there was no parties. There was nowhere to go. Like let's be very specific between like, parties and freak offs. No. Well. The industry like the parties that we attend. Like this. Me, the you, the, the Ferris. I the, left before before <laughs> one. I never stayed. I've only been to two parties and like, I've never seen a freak off. Yeah, like, but it shows and, and once again I'm separating, right? We're talking about him as the, the I'm the artist, mm-hmm. the, the person, yeah. right? How and how monumental and how important he was to the culture. Because I, I I said Jermaine, I just there's no party. Every year. Dude had the, he had the, and you feel it. It's like a hole. It's like, damn, we, we ain't going, he was just such a gatekeeper for him. The, the, the liquor in the, the clubs, the, the, the most, like he was everything hip hop. You know what I mean? So for that to, to die out, it's like, you just would have never thought. And especially when you look at somebody as like somebody you studied, somebody you idolized, somebody who you looked at like, yo, when it comes to hustle, when it comes to business, and, and how to run your shit. It's like he was the guy that every young hustler looked up to and wanted to either be like or wanted to, now I'm gonna pass this thing. Like, okay, so I think y'all pretty much got the gist of the situation. And yeah, he's right. There was a lot of people that pretty much looked to, looked to Diddy or uh, looked up to him in that way as like, yeah, I aspire to be like that in regards to because on the outside, he put up this front that it was like, oh yeah, I'm very grandiose. I'm larger than life. He was very much hip hop's Liberace, quiet as his kid. I mean, I think that's a perfect analogy to talk to compare Diddy, like in regards of the overall, the flashiness and the aesthetic and being more grand than he actually was. So he was putting on airs. Like, yeah, we know that you all had your little side businesses and you had all these other deals and endorsements and things of that nature. And yeah, he was running the clubs. And yeah, he had his Ciroc and stuff that was all up in the clubs and stuff. And he was definitely holding it down in regards of like the whole party scene. And nobody threw a party like Diddy. But for you to sit up in here and say this dumbness, when you talking about that, oh, you missed the, there was no parties or whatever. So nobody thought to throw after parties in New York. Like the fashion world was out here throwing after parties and everybody else was throwing after parties. So when it comes to the music and all the other stuff, y'all can't throw after parties. Ain't nobody saying that the part, so are all the parties that you've gone to freak off-esque? Like, I don't understand like how we're not having 
Like, what's the difference between parties and the freak-offs? Those are two different things. You can have your regular party where you have the celebrities mingling and everybody's doing what they're doing. If you want to dig a little coke in the corner or whatever the case is, then, yeah, bring your little, your little thingy and then do your little bumps or whatever, your lines, and you can do all of that. But it's a difference between, yeah, you throwing a party and there's a bunch of celebrities hobnobbing and drinking and dipping it and doing it versus, you know, Something where, okay, now all some of y'all got to leave the room because now things about to get freaky and I'm about to bring out a bunch of people I trafficked across straight lines and having them doing unspeakable things for my pleasure and for everybody's entertainment. Not realizing how I really went about getting these people in this room. But y'all want to sit up in here because y'all are all a bunch of little horn dogs and you're all drugged up and doing whatever. You just going along with the situation, not knowing Diddy's true intentions. So, yeah, but naturally, of course, people took the social media and decided to drag him on what he said. So one person said, get a load of this loser. We booked him at the club and he couldn't even give his liquor away to the hoes. They didn't want it. A Diddy party may actually be his best bet because I've never seen a celebrity with so much inability to get bitches. <laughs> wait, they talking about, um, wait, he got a liquor line? I'm not talking about Diddy. We all know about Diddy. Well, I don't even think he owned that anymore. Because, you know, when he... um. When he parted ways with Diageo, I don't know if he even owns um, Ciroc still. But I don't know that why I had a liquor line. Well, that's probably why it's not selling, <laughs> because we don't know about it. Another person says, send him back to the orphanage. I'm screaming. <laughs> but that not like Mike Reed. But anyway, so they was like, feed him. Okay, so one person put, feed him for Diddy parties is crazy. This is one what one user wrote on Twitter. Said, dude should just have just stayed quiet. This is what another user, you know, got, apparently got personal about Bauer and shared an antidote. Said, oh, yeah, I read the get a load of this loser thing, so I don't need to read that one again because that was the one I read prior. One user tweeted, Bow Wow missed them diddle parties. Bad. Another remark, go throw a party then. Throw a freak list party and fill the void. Problem solved. And that is so true. It's like if you can't fill the void. I mean, if you, if something is missing, and this is what I always say to people, if you craving something, if you miss something, if something doesn't exist anymore, then create your, your version of it. Be the change you want to see in the world. We're not saying you got to create a freak off, but if you miss the whole party thing, maybe that should be the next venue you get into because you claim you were so inspired by the diddler and what he stood for and all those things and how you idolized him and looked at him. So did Justin Bieber, but according to the stories, Justin out here going through some things. And been in hiding and dealing with his trauma, allegedly, on what may have or may not have happened with him and the diddler. Because they had their friendship. So other comments went and said, Bad Wild was just itching and scratching for a freak up party. I can imagine him like itching and scratching like um Dave Chappelle, like being a crackhead. <laughs> Like, it's giving me that. Diddy party withdrawals is crazy work. That's what another person said. Another person said, Fiending for Diddy parties is crazy. Dude should have just stayed quiet. Okay, we read that one. Another person said, Can he read a room or the room? Another person said, Considering current circumstances to be staying, saying this is wild. Well, you know, one of the things about Bow Wow, he just seems to be just culturally clueless and just not. Maybe he just lacks awareness, but you're a little too old at your big age of 37 to be pulling this stunt. And then on top of that, this is the same thing like with Cry Reese, dumb behind, getting on social media, talking about he missed Jess Hilarious. You the only one, because quiet as it's kept, I think the people over there at the Breakfast Club realized they made a mistake by giving that ding that a gig as the third host. Y'all should have just stayed, you know, after Angela Yee, y'all should have picked somebody else. But they picked that girl. I can't remember her name, but she used to work over there at TMZ. She's doing a better job because, A, she has a journalism background. And, B, at least she does her research before she opens her mouth and says stuff, whether you agree with her or not. Just let her just be spewing how they are. Let her sit at home and just raise that baby because um, as a personality, she don't have it. But anyway, this ain't about that old dingbat. Let's get back to this dingbat. So we already know, like, look, this is some poor timing. Diddy is behind bars. You could have just said, you know what? It's unfortunate what happened with him and all this other stuff because I idolized him and I looked up to him and I was not expecting him to be seen as this type of guy or he would be capable of this sort of thing. And then you could have been like, well, did you bear witness to anything at them free calls? That would have been a good question. Well, I don't know if that's what Roxy asked because I didn't watch the episode. I just seen the clip and I'm responding to it. But at this point, it's just like, Bow Wow, you should have known, you should have really thought about it, what you had said before you opened your mouth and said this foolishness. But then why y'all surprised? Because Bow Wow always been type corny. 
But I say all this the same. What do y'all think of this story? Whatever your thoughts are regarding this topic, you know, if Bow Wow should have stayed quiet, I think the overall consensus would have been like, yeah, he should have just kept his mouth closed and just, just be cute. Just be short, be cute, and just, you know, do what you do. I guess, which is why I don't know what he does exactly. So let me know what you guys think of this story in the comments down below.